when it's time to do Betsy's bustle, you're going to pick up the train and hand it to the bride. This dress has a double bustle, which means that there's a French bustle underneath and a pickup bustle over. If you follow, this is the strap to hold the dress off the ground when you're backstage. If you follow that seam down, you'll see the first blue ribbon right here. And if you keep going, the second blue ribbon is closer to her tush. You tie the two ribbons together. So making sure that the bases where the ribbon is sewn to the fabric is touching. Then you make a little bow, just like a shoelace bow. You don't need a knot. And that's it. Then that's there's it? gonna be two more out to mm. each side. So I'm tying the yellow to the yellow. And the green to the green. If you have several bridesmaids, one can do each side. side we're going to the purple next. And again we're pulling the ribbons until the place where they're sewn to the dress is kissing. And then the final one is this little green one. And that's it. So for this first lining layer, you drop the dress, then you just sort of fluff up the fold, and that's the French underneath bustle. For the bustle on top, it's a pickup bustle. So it's little loops that go over buttons. So again, you're going to start on the center seam. Here below the zipper, you see the first button. If you come straight down the center back, we put a little gold pin in to mark, but there's a little loop with a pearl. You just pick up the pearl and the loop and you put it over the button and that's the train. Oh. So then there's, just like the underneath, there's a center one and then one out to each side. So there's two on either side then? Mm -hmm. okay. so center, just it just is below, as you say. Mm -hmm. And it always works better to start at the center one than to have people okay. start randomly. And it's not a bad idea to have whoever's helping you with your bustle find it before the wedding so that when they're going back to do it after the wedding, you're not getting the toots looking for the bustle. And so that's the pickup bustle. And then once that's all done, you can see it sweeps just a hair in the back. You can tuck these little extra bits of fabric in, like that and like that. Same thing here. Just tuck it under mm, and tuck it okay. under. Same thing at the corner. Just tucking and tucking. So that when Betsy makes her entrance, it looks beautiful. The next time that the bustle gets any photography is after the or before the cake cutting. So if you want to, you can go back and readjust it before the cake cutting.